Welcome back to Mile High Break, folks. Today we have the continuation of the six pack chaos six pack review. Uh, I started this with uh, the mystery box reviews of the Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh! The video started running a little long, and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the unpacking of these from the original video into its own video for the magic people to, to watch. Yeah. <coughs> That's what I'm doing right here. So, uh, if you watch to the end of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon reveal, you'll see I pulled these guys out. Uh, it comes with six six packs, plus a little uh, promo card. I looked it up. It's worth like a couple bucks. Promo card from the Omnicat era. And in this, we got an Ixalan, a Core, two Guilds, an Unstable, and an Hour of Devastation. So, we've got a shot at some uh, some Shocklands, maybe some uh, Nicole Boluses, and uh, maybe some of the Lands. Right? Unstable Lands. So this is part of the mystery box things that you can find at Walmart and Target. And these cost, let me see, let me look at my receipt right now. I think this is around 20 bucks. Uh, MTG, yeah, 19.98. So 20 bucks, you get six packs of cards. Uh, those are the six packs of cards, as you can see. And, you know, to be honest, if I went online to try if I had all those six packs of cards, it would probably cost me more than 20 bucks. Uh, but that all being said, the person who uh, hinted me to this product and wanted me to check it out told me that they they opened one of these once and got a really really old pack, uh, older than what I got over here. And they said that it was obviously been resealed. And when they hit up the company about it, the company is MJ, MJ Holdings LLC. And they're a company that basically partners up with different baseball card companies, Magic, Pokemon, all these guys. And they're, out, I guess, they're just buying up their unused product and then reselling it at Walmart and Targets. Uh, those seem to be the only places that really. I think they have. There's one other place that looked like they had a retailer, but I, I think it, was, it must have been in another country, maybe Canada or something. But uh, he said he opened it and he knew it was resealed, and he hit up the company and they refunded him three quarters of his money back, and sent him a very apologetic letter for it. And so, you know, take that for what you will. Uh, I guess when I open these, I'll, I'll be a little bit slower and see if maybe they're resealed. I doubt any of these uh, right here are going to be resealed, you know, from the standard sets. Uh, but we'll feel them, we'll check them out, and let's see what we get. Maybe we'll get lucky here. All right, let's sort these in level of interest for me. Uh, that, that looks about right. Ixalan's kind of boring. Maybe I'll find a uh, Nicole Bolas. Maybe we'll find a couple shock lands. Maybe we'll find some more lands. And then original Nicol Bolas. That's what we're looking for. So, check the pack out. Uh, it's real tight down here. You know, it doesn't feel like the card's been moved around at all. So, I mean, I don't feel like this is unsearched packed at all. At all. Uh, this is nice and tight. Let's see. We'll open it up slow. So we can, you know, I couldn't even get it off up there. It's opening normal. I don't see anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, it looks good, right? No uh, weird glue or anything like that. So I think this pack is fine. So our first pack, Ixalan. What are we going to get? Maybe it'll throw us a Carnage Tyrant. That'd be cool, right? Maybe a little compass action. Or... Let's see. And we get oh, Sun's Avatar, Mythic. But not even a Mythic I'm even aware of. But hey, we pulled a Mythic from the Ixalan pack. So it is what it is. We'll take it. I won't snow my nose at a mythic. Low print. Maybe one day it'll catch fire. All right. Pack number two. Oh, got to really. Oh, feels good. Felt good. It honestly, feels good. Look, you know, that foil looks nice. No glue up there. It was all real tight. And don't care. Don't care. We've got. Harold into a scepter. Yeah. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing in the core. No Niccolo. Nicobolus. Well, so far, I might have got the packs cheap, but I don't feel like I've got 20 bucks worth of value yet. Uh, I think you guys would agree with that. So, our first pack of guilds are basically. Well, there's a few things in here worthwhile, but I'd really like to cast some shocks. Oh. Not bad, not bad. Not a bad one. I'll take it. I'll take it. What else you got for me? I want something better than that. 
You're making me look bad here on camera, man. Come on, come on. Give us $20 of value. We need to make up some money here. You ain't doing it. You ain't doing it. Well, that's not bad. Not a bad uncommon. Hey, whatever. That ain't doing it. A little foil action. They'd always help. No lands. No lands in those. I feel like those are both buds, duds. I feel like all the packs have been duds. This one feels good too. They're all real tight. Nothing feels tampered with in, in these, but to be honest, I didn't get really old packs. So let's see. Unstable. What do we got? We're going to go through these a little slower. Some fun things on these cards. Let's check them out. Go to jail. <laughs> when go to jail enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until go to jail enters the battle. That's funny. Some very interesting looking cards, huh? From a different time. I bet they had fun creating these guys. Extremely slow zombie. <laughs> Team, clever combo, or uncommon into a monster masher. Yeah, and there we go. Unstable Swampland, nice looking card. A refibrator. Whenever you crank refibrator, return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. Nice, cool looking card. Oh, and I dropped it, of course. Hey, widget. Contraption. Yeah. These are cool looking. A little foil token. Right on. All right, that was a fun little pack. Haven't seen those cards in a long, long time. So, our devastation feels good. Uh, yeah. Make sure it's all nice and tight. Oh, oh. Yeah. Foil looks nice, yeah. The viewers agree. So let's see. What are we gonna pull off here in the in the clutch? Hours of devastation. Take it in. A walk back in time. And we got Doomfall. Eternal strength into a swarm intelligence. Wah wah wah. No Nicole Bolas. Not sure if there's anything on these cards worth you guys. Well, what do you guys think? 20 bucks. That's what you get. Uh, I feel like all the packs were kind of duds. You know, that is what it is. You're never going to, you know, you're really opening one of something, you know, statistically, it's not going to be a, a win. Uh, I enjoyed the Unstable pack. Uh, I'm looking forward to looking some of these cards up. I was looking up earlier. They're not really worth much, to be quite honest. The lands are kind of all you're hoping for, and those are only worth four or five bucks tops. Uh, but so that's it. That is the, where's it at? That's the Chaos Magic six pack so you guys let me know what you think if you enjoyed this go hit thumbs up and hit that subscribe button until next time mile high breaks i'm glad you came by